Hi there, and thanks for tuning in with another episode of Math with Mullins. Today we're going to be starting Chapter 8, um, which deals a lot with um, circles and area. The first thing we're going to learn, though, is um, how to find perimeter of parallelograms and triangles. You probably already know how to do a lot of this stuff, so it should be a review to you today. Um, but just make sure you're looking for those 10 things to write down in your notes, and let's go ahead and get started. Um, so the first thing we want to know is we want to make sure we understand what is area of parallelograms and perimeter of parallelograms. The first half of our notes will be parallelograms, and then the second half will be triangles. First off, let's go and write down area of parallelogram is equal to base times height. And then perimeter of parallelogram is when you add outer sides. So go ahead and take time now to pause the video, copy what you see on the screen. Once you're done, click play to go on. You are going to be able to use this formula sheet for your Chapter 8 test. So what I'm going to be giving you are the formulas that you're going to be seeing on, on your formula sheet. And so just so you know how you're supposed to use them correctly. The first one where you're just going to watch me do, I'm going to find the area and perimeter for each parallelogram. Again, just a quick reminder, you do get to use a calculator on this unit, which is awesome. So remember, area is base times height. So I'm going to do 9 times 12. And 9 times 12 gives me 108. Oops. So we have 108 centimeters squared as my base. For perimeter, it's a little bit different. Instead of multiplying, I'm going to be adding all of the um, outer edges. So I'm going to do that one here in a different color. So I'm going to do 9 plus 12 plus another 9 plus another 12. That's essentially just going to be 18 um, plus 24, and you should get 42 centimeters for that one, okay? Just make sure you do not use the middle height for this one, because height is representing the inside. Um, so just make sure you're only using the outer edges. That's 12 and 12, and 8, 9, and 9, and 9, okay? Here's another one. Again, to find area, you're going to be doing base times height. So that would be 12 times 10, and that's going to give you 120 yards squared. For perimeter, you're going to be doing 12 plus 12, or you could do 12 times 2, and 10 plus 10, or 10 times 2. That's going to be 24 plus 20, which is 44 yards. Notice you also have yards squared for area and just yards for perimeter. This next one, you're going to take the time now and pause the video, try these on your own, and once you're done trying it, click play. All right, so for area, we're going to do base times height. The base is 12, the height is 4, so that's going to be 12 times 4, which is 48 meters squared. For perimeter, I'm just focusing on the outside numbers, 9 and 12. 9 and 9 is 18. 12 and 12 is 24, so you're essentially just adding 18 and 24 together, and that's going to, again, again, give you 42 meters. How'd you do? Again, let's go ahead and pause this one, try it. Once you're done, click play. For the area, I'm multiplying base times height, which is 16 times 6. According to your calculator, you should get 96 inches squared. For perimeter, you did 6 plus 6, which is 12, 16 and 16, which is 32, 12 plus 32 is 44 inches. Let's try a few more. This one is a square, so maybe you think you got to think a little bit harder about all your numbers that you're going to use. Go ahead and pause, try it, and then click play. All right, area, we're again, we're doing base times height. Remember, the square has all same sides, so we're basically just doing 7 times 7 which is 49 feet squared. And then for perimeter, I'm adding 7 and 7 and 7 and 7, or 7 times 4, which will give me 28 feet for my perimeter. <laughs> the last one, I think, for your parallelograms, so you're going to find the area and perimeter of this one. Again, pause it, try it, and once you're done, click play. For my area here, you should be doing 11 times 11. Remember, all sides of the square are the same. If only one side is marked, that's what you're going to be looking for. You should get 121 yards squared. For perimeter, you're adding all the sides, so 11 and 11, 
plus another 1111 will give you 44 yards. The next part we're going to look at is part two, the formula for area of a triangle. According to your formula sheet, the area of a triangle looks like this. Area is equal to one half base times the height. You're essentially just doing half of what you did with a parallelogram. A lot of people like to use this one as well. Base times height divided by two. You can use this as well, but just keep in mind, this is what you're going to be seeing on your formula sheet. So just make sure you know what you're supposed to do with that. And then perimeter is just the same. Add outer sides. Make sure you don't add on the inner sides. Um, some people make that mistake too. Go ahead and pause the video just to make sure you have these things written down for number six in your notes. And then once you're ready, click play to go on. All right, so let's try this one. Area, again, is going to be half of the base times height. I like to just do base times height and then divide it by two. My base is always 12, and the height will be 5. Notice you have this little corner thing here. This corner thing usually, that represents your 90 degree angle. That always touches your base and your height. So that's just another way that you can remember that. 12 times 5 is 60, and 60 cut in half is 30. So my answer would be 30 inches squared for area. For perimeter, I'm just focusing on the outside. 12, 8, and 8. I will not use 5. 12 plus 8 plus 8 is going to be 28 inches. That's 20 plus another 8, 28. Another one here, you have just three numbers. Again, your area is base times height divided by 2, or half of base times height. Your base is 4. Notice again, a little... 90 degree angle is touching a base and a height. A height could be 11, or base could be 11, height could be 4, either one. 4 times 11 is 44. Divide that by 2, you should get 22 yards squared. For perimeter, you're just adding all the outer edges. 11 plus 12 plus 4. That's going to give you 27 yards. Okay. This next one you're going to try on your own. Pause the video, try it, and once you're done, click play. Alright, so area, we have base times height divided by 2, so I did 15 times 6 divided by 2. 15 times 6 is going to give us 90, but then when we divide 90 by 2, we get 45 miles squared. For perimeter, you're just adding the outer edges, that's 15 and 8.5 and... 12.5. Again, you're going to ignore that 6 because it's inside. So 15 plus 8.5 plus 12.5 gives you 36. How did you do? Let's try a few more. Again, let's pause, try it, and then click play. Notice you're just looking what is touching the right angle for your base and your height. Go ahead and try. All right, base times height divided by 2. That's going to be 7 times 10 divided by 2, that's 70, and then 70 cut in half is 35, so my area is 35 inches squared. Perimeter, I'm going to use the 7, the 9, and the 14, so 7 plus 9 plus 14. Plus 14. That's going to give you 30 inches. Number nine, again, go ahead and pause it and try it. Click play once you're ready to check. Your base times your height divided by two is your area. So that is 20 times 12. And dividing that by two, that's going to be 240. 240 cut in half is 120 inches squared. Perimeter, you're just adding 20 plus 12, oops, plus 16. And that's going to give you 48 inches. All right. Last one. Here you go. Go ahead and try it. Again, let's pause, try it, and then click play once you're ready to check. All right. Base times height divided by 2. We're going to have 14 times 7 divided by 2. 14 times 7 gives us 98. And then 98 cut in half is 49. So 49 centimeters squared. 
And then for this one over here, you have tw um, your outer edges are 12, 9, and 14. So you're basically adding 12, 9, and 14 together. That's going to give you 35 centimeters as your perimeter. That is going to conclude our video, so just make sure you have your 10 things written down. Half of it was parallelograms, half of it was triangles. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll catch you next time.